and welcome back so we're just going to reposition our model let's yeah we can see that let's go to this one and pull that across so we can see our lines going into this section so that's going to be our vertices down there uh, let's go for that one first so I'm looking down in that section there yep it's grabbed it in our perspective viewport we can see that so let's just take that down I'm going to pop it down to about there then select these two um, they want to come down a little bit so come down and go for our scale tool so hit R and we're just going to pull these out now I want them pulling out uh, about there might even take those down a little bit more so hit the W key and just oh there's our helpers there yep right click in our left viewport select those and as we can see they're both selected so back to our scale tool pull that out say about about there for the time being we could always have a rotate around and see how it's going there we are we're inside the fuselage now yeah that looks that looks okay so over to this one um, select those vertices it's brought them up in fact it's those vertices there that I want now I could go in and just select them here but we'll stick with the protocol right click pull those out a little bit lovely swing it round and a little bit more see I'm looking at how it's shading down here so using that as a bit of a guide as well yep see as you can see we've got a vertices there and that's on the external section and if we follow that we can see the shading comes around here so yep we'll leave that there now we'll pop up select the next two right click pull that out and now I can see that I'm not entirely happy with these two so we could go back down select them right click and just pull that in a little bit more now for the vertices up here this is the fun part or at least I think it's the fun part anyway now vertices there you'll notice I'm not going all the way around and that's because uh, we need to actually shape the cockpit area so I'm leaving those for the time being um, let's zoom in a bit move that round there because I want to be able to see these here rotate it a little over to our left viewport move that across I can see it comes into there uh, select that tool let's just pop up a little bit and we've selected that there right click for our perspective viewport and you can see it just popping through there so that's great now we can select these two here right click in our perspective viewport again let's take those down and this time I want to pull them out so we'll do our scale hit the R key scale those out a little bit let's rotate inside so that we can see there you go happy with that let's take the next two up right click and take those out that's about right now you'll notice that um, with our profile here it doesn't actually go all the way out don't worry about that that gets resolved a little bit later on 
so we've got that and we'll pop up to the next couple right click pull that out now I just want to zoom around so I'm hitting the alt key and my middle mouse key to actually rotate rather than going up to the select and rotate here not sorry not that one the rotate down here the orbit middle mouse key to just pan down I'm looking at this one so pop up there come on don't play up thank you right click in there scale pull that out there next to right click scale pull that out there and I will do that one there all those two right click pull that out there now there is another section that I want to shape so let's just rotate around a little bit looking inside control alt let's zoom in middle mouse key depressed so come on okay let's try this it is playing up a little bit is this but it's this section here that I just need to resolve so over to this one and we're looking at the vertices around here so let's grab that one to begin with no we need these two that's it so we've got those right click and I just want to pull those out a little bit there so that the line runs through and intersects with that there and select the vertices up above right click in our viewport perspective viewport again and let's just take those out a little bit there and then finally these two here so again select those right click and we're just trying to square those up a little bit which means I may have to select these two down here again it's so tempting to just come in and select it via that way but I'm sticking with protocol so <laughs> right click in that and just about about there let's press alt middle mouse key rotate outwards and we can see the effects of what we've just done there that's not looking too bad at all at this stage okay let's pull around to the front control alt middle mouse key zoom out middle mouse key to pan across and as we can see it's now beginning to shape round here and now we need to sort out this cockpit area here so let's just pop over here sort that out bring back our reference material and I think I'll hide the frame helpers at this stage so that we can see that close that down for a moment now it might be better if I have this in the left view go Z for zoom helps if we select the right one Z for zoom pop in we'll bring that up to full screen and we're in vertices at the moment I don't want vertices I want edge now what we need to do is actually remove this section around here but before we do that I just need to pop in a few more sections so we're in edge I'm going to select that section there 
and we're going to pop down again to our connect and there we go connect so it's the tab to the right of it select that now it's asking me if I want two and no in this instance what I want is one so let's click it down to one and what we need to do is actually slide it across and let's just pull that I'm sliding it across to there so we've got one section running down here and we've got the other section that we're creating just there I'm happy with that so I'm going to say OK by clicking the little tick there we also need uh, another division just here so again I'm going to select all these running down here we're going to go back to connect settings click that we do want the one but this time we need it over to the right so let's take it that way and again we need it fairly close to that section there about there now we also have our cutout along there and along there so this time oh let's just click there to say yes we'll accept that click away so this time what I want to do is select those across there so as you can see I've just selected those and I need that dividing along this section here so back down to our connect and this time it's put it near the top I don't want it there I want it near the bottom so let's slide that down to just there and let's click that and say OK so what we've done is basically added sections in there and in there and these will in a short while help to support that area around there now again mindful of the time however I do really need to put in another division down here so let's select all of that area there pop down I'm already there. Um, settings. Still want the one, and it needs to be taken over to this section here. So let's slide it across to about there. Say OK, and we'll continue this in the next tutorial. So, I'll catch you later.